best server OS. Did you know that you can't use just any operating system on a server? Hi everyone, Adriana here. And as you've already guessed, this video is about server operating systems. An operating system is a bridge between hardware resources and software management. We work with operating systems on our computers and laptops every day. We manage our data, install and update apps and programs, and use our RAM, CPU, and storage. But when it comes to choosing an OS for a server, the operating systems working on our laptops will simply not do. A server operating system is designed to run on a server computer and offer network services to other computers and devices. It's also responsible for network file sharing, user authentication, and support for multiple users. Finding a good server OS is pretty easy. First, you need to consider what server you're setting up. For example, you need a different OS for a file server than an email server. So your journey to finding your suitable server OS begins at your purpose. After setting your goal, you need to think about efficiency. Operating systems have different resources take-ups. For example, Windows is really heavy on RAM, while Linux distributions are known for being lightweight. You need to consider choosing the OS that can best manage your hardware resources. Then, of course, based on the type and sensitivity of the data you're handling, you need to think about security. A secure server OS is one with a solid security history, regular security updates, and built-in security features. You also have to think about the server operating system's interface. Managing a server OS with a user-friendly interface, simple tools, and comprehensive documentation is a lot easier than a server with no GUI, especially if multiple people with different tech backgrounds are in charge of administration. <laughs> and at last, well, let's talk about money. If you're on a budget, you need to consider the operating system's license and software costs. You can also go for a cheap or even a free OS that can work just as good as a paid one. Now I did a little digging and I found a list of the best operating systems for servers. You're welcome. There are five different types of server operating systems. Although if you're working with a virtual private server, you won't need to invest in a complex operating system. If you prefer to work with Windows, you can go for Windows Server 2008, 2012, and 2019. These operating systems are amazing to work with and take way less resources than normal Windows versions. Of course, Windows operating systems can be a bit expensive since you have to buy a license. But if you want to work in a Linux-based environment, the best operating systems you can choose are CentOS, Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, and OpenSUSE. With Linux operating systems, you don't have to worry about prices since they're open source and free. I have good news for you. Though, if you need a VPS, you can get one from Cloudsy without worrying about operating systems. Cloudsy offers amazing features, but the most important one here is that the VPS comes with a free and pre-installed operating system. You can also choose your OS from a variety of different uh, Linux distributions and Windows versions. So I hope this video helped you find the right server OS. If you have any question about VPS and operating systems, go ahead and ask me in the comments. I will see you soon in another video.